Hi well, folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com, so a lot of you have been asking me, um, hey Max, uh, how do you unroot T-Mobile Galaxy S2? Uh, well, there's a lot of methods out there, so I just made it simple. Um, you just have to flash this file in CWM, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Basically, I put together a unrooting ROM, completely unrooted, everything to back to stock. All you have to do is flash it in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so to do it, uh, first connect it to your computer and then um, go download the uh, file and copy it over. Well, let's go to do it together. Connect it as this drive. And what you're going to do is download this file called uh, sgh-t989 unroot underscore rom underscore zero max dot zip and copy it over to your internal storage. That's my internal storage or your SD card. Either either one works. So I'm going to copy and paste. Well, actually, you know what? I, I got it copied over. Um, I think so. Yeah. So I got it copied over. Once you got it copied over, um, let's go back to our phone. And next what we're going to do is take the USB thing out, hold down volume up and volume down, and then the power button. Or you can use ROM Manager to get into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Same thing. Um, and then wait and let go. And you see it blank. And then keep holding. You'll see the Samsung logo. And then you'll see Clockwork Mod Recovery. And what you're gonna do is wipe Data Factory. Well, let me let me zoom in real quick. Um, wipe Data Factory reset. Hit the power button. Say yes. Hit the power button. <clears throat> And then what you're going to do is when that's done, you're going to go down to um, install zip from SD card, hit the power button, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card if you copied over there, hit the power button, and then go find the file. Um, where did it? Wait, wait, wait. There we go. The sgh t 989 unroot underscore rom underscore zero x. Hit the power button. And yes. And basically what I did is there was a, a bunch of kernels, stock kernels, but there's no um, stock ROM. So I took Bubby 323s uh, on XDA, thanks to Bubby 323, by the way, for making that uh, stock ROM. And I added in the uh, stock kernel and also the stock um, recovery image. So you can just flash this one file. Oh, there, I put that in there. And uh, it's going to install the stock recovery and uh, what else do I say? It's gonna install also the stock kernel <clears throat> um, and also the stock ROM. So uh, even if you're on another ROM, this is gonna completely wipe everything. So make sure you back up uh, using Titanium Manager or um, if you're gonna save your ROM, save it in Clockwork My Recovery. So maybe you're returning it for warranty, get a new phone and then you can uh, <clears throat> recover restore to your previous state um, but this makes it simple since uh, you don't have to use Odin or anything you can do it on a you don't need a computer you just need to copy the file over and <clears throat> go back and reboot system now and you should have a completely stock uh, ROM um, with super user erase SC binaries erased um, it's completely stock as far as the guys at T-Mobile they won't be able to tell um, this has ever been rooted. So that's how you unroot your phone. Um, this should take another, like, first time it boots, it's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna leave it and then I'll, I'll be right back just to show you that it's been completely rooted, unrooted. So this is still booting up. Um, while this is booting up, let me uh, do some shameless promotion on my new kernel that I have not built yet for T-Mobile Galaxy S2. Uh, the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 comes with, um, that's my Droid Bionic. Comes with a, uh, what is it? Qualcomm S3 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. And still there's no overclocked kernel, but uh, hopefully I can be one of the first people to have it overclocked to like two gigahertz. I have a strong feeling that it can be faster than the, the other Galaxy S2s because um, I think the overclockable ability of that, uh, uh, well, I'll get it to another time. But as you can see, um, I've got it completely boot up. 
everything stock, no super user. Um, let me see if my Gmail is working. Nope. So you gotta sign in again. Everything's been erased. You get all the stock apps. Uh, anyway, thanks again to uh, XDA member Bubby323 from ACS Syndicate. Um, he made my work a lot easier. Um, I just put the kernel, ROM, and uh, um, uh, just, you know, and the stock recovery together. So you can just download that one file, flash it in Clockwork Mod Recovery, and there's no chances of you bricking using Odin or Heimdall by doing something stupid like hitting on putting OG epic uh, or pit file or whatever. Uh, anyway, that's how you root it, unroot it. Um, you can see that it's completely unroot, unrooted. And you can also double check that your clockwork mod recovery is gone by holding down volume up and volume down. Last thing I'll show you before I go. Um, and then let go and reroot. Re let go of the power button. Oops, did I miss it? Ah, yeah, I should be gone. And you should get stock recovery right there. There you go, and you can let go. There you go. So you got it completely stock. Um, no more people asking me, how do you unroot? How do you unroot T-Mobile Galaxy S2? And you know, don't put the AT&T unrooting method there. Anyway, thanks y'all. Subscribe. See y'all later. Bye bye.